Hey guys, Jen Brown here with Jimra. Today I've got a Yoga Sculpt Fusion workout for you. Regarding equipment, all you'll need is a yoga mat and a set of medium to heavy weights. Grab something that you'll feel pretty challenged with. I'm wearing sneakers, but you can of course uh, do the entire workout without any shoes on. Uh, we've got a lot of glute work today. We've also got a good amount of cardio, so get ready. You are in for a fun, maybe kind of wild ride. So we're just getting started with a dynamic movement today. I want you to just start to move your body one way or another, warming it up. We've got a whole lot of work to do. Then take it into some jacks when you're ready. You know you can always tap it out here side to side. All of the jumping in class is completely optional. Think of warming up the body, elevating the heart rate so that we get the most out of our time together today. You have eight more and then we're taking it into a booty kicker. Here's four, three, two. I'm just gonna turn this way to show you beginning to kick your own booty. Why not, right? Why not? So what we're doing there is activating the hamstring more specifically. So running it out, kicking your heel to your hips. We have eight. Here's four, three, two, and one. Feet parallel, hips width. Find some arm circles forward and then take it back, warming up the shoulders. And then swing your arms across the chest. You can move your hips a little bit side to side as well. All right, let's meet in a downward facing dog. So plant your hands, lift your hips high. You can pedal it out here a few times, bending one knee and the other, just focusing on the backs of the legs. Then ground your heels. Check in with your body. Take a moment as we start our practice today and just notice something that you're grateful for. Maybe it's just even the ability to make it here, to give yourself a little bit of space, a little bit of time to do something healthy and move. Okay, ground your heels, lift your right leg high, bend your knee, open up the hip. Find some circles there, so hip circles one way, the other way. You can circle out the ankle. You can wiggle your toes. So notice what you're feeling, notice what you need. And then inhale, straighten the legs, square the hips off. Exhale, drop your right foot. Good, a couple more times, pedal it out, bending each knee. And then inhale, left leg high. Bend your knee, open up your hips. Same thing, circle it out. One way, the other way. And again, you can wiggle the toes, you can circle the ankle, whatever you need here. Just open up the hip, breathe into the side of the body. Inhale, left leg high, square the hips. Exhale, let it go. Walk your hands back to your feet. Stand up. You can reach your arms up or not. Bring your hands back down. Begin to walk forward into a plank. Alternate between those two movements. Here we go. So you don't need to stay at the same pace I'm moving at. What I want you to feel is your body fully lengthening out, your navel hugging in. And as you walk forward into your plank, notice your hamstrings, your calves. So really feeling every inch of the body begin to warm up, begin to stretch, begin to lengthen out. Just a few more here. Last one, we're gonna walk forward and hold our plank. Good. Step your right leg to the outside of your right hand. Reach your right arm up. Right hand down, step your right leg back, switch sides. So it's a twist, and then you bring it back to your plank. Just stepping it out, getting a little deeper into those hips. Make sure as you lunge forward, your knee is directly over your ankle and in the same direction as your toes. Here's your four. 
Here's your three. Move with intention here. Last two. Final one. Now this time, step both of your legs forward. Bend your knees. Scoop your arms up. Squeeze your glutes. Hips back. Draw them back down. Oh my gosh. It is a beautiful day. <sighs> Pretty nice place to get a little yoga workout on. We have four more. In three, we're finding a chair pose. Two. Keep your arms up on one. Step your feet, either hips parallel uh, underneath your hips or legs touching hips back, chair. Breathe right there. Send your hips low, energy into your heels, neck long. Palms touch and fold. Step your left leg back, runner's lunge. Right arm reaches up towards the sky. Open up into a side plank. So you can drop your bottom knee down or you can stagger your feet and then find some hip lifts here. Here's four. Two on one, reach your right arm up and overhead, lift your right leg up, oblique crunches. Inhale, exhale. So just getting a little deeper into the belly before we go for that weight work. Here's your four and three, two and one drop your bottom knee down frame your knee so bring both hands forward pivot forward take a weight in your left hand keep your right leg long behind you bend your left elbow send your left arm long begin to lift and lower your left arm getting into our triceps we have four more and then we're adding the right leg get into the booty here's two on one lift and lower your right leg if it's too much we just keep it down and focus on the arm here's three more hug the belly in right elbow soft chin away from chest last two now hold it high just little pulses with both for eight seven six five four three two and one Put the weight down, hand down, leg back, down dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose, step it through, low lunge. Inhale, arms reach up, crescent. Shoulders relaxed, 90 degree bend in your front knee, sit your hips low. Open up, warrior two. Gaze past your right palm. Flip your right hand, reverse your warrior, reach up, reach back, length all through the right side. Hands down, meet me in a downward facing dog. You can take your vinyasa or just find it right away. Down dog, pedal it out. Good, lift your heels, bend your knees, step, step, going right into chair. Once again, chair pose. Sit low, take a few breaths there, checking back in, inhaling and exhaling, noticing the body. Palms touch and fold. Step your right leg back, low lunge. Lift your left arm up for your twist. Open up into your side plank. So you can drop the bottom knee again, stagger the foot, do what you need to do. Find your hip lifts up. Right elbow soft. Here's four more. In three, left arm reaches overhead. Inhale, exhale, oblique crunch. Lengthen, squeeze it in. Inhale, exhale. Four more. Here's your three. Two and one. Good. Drop your bottom knee. Pivot to face the side. Take your weight into your right hand this time, left leg long. Bend your right arm, send the arm long. Begin to lift and lower, getting into triceps. Feel the control, feel the squeeze. 
Notice your belly hugging in and up. We're adding the left leg in three. We lift both in two, in one. Here it is. Tap, squeeze your left cheek as you lift and lower. And imagine the leg is being pulled behind you. Four until we pulse both in three. Here's two. On one, hold it. Little pulses up. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Legs long, high plank, down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, step through. Reach your arms up for your crescent. Hips low, shoulders relaxed. Pause, feel the breath, notice the movement. Open up, warrior two. Big bend in your front knee, gaze over, left fingertips. Flip your left palm, reverse your warrior. Bring it back down to the mat. You can meet me right in your down dog or take it through your vinyasa. Maybe add an extra push up in there, cause why not? We're here to work, right? Pedal it out. Inhale, lift your heels high. Exhale, bend your knees. Step, step, chair. Hips low, arms long. Good. Bring your palms to touch at your heart. Find alternating reverse lunges. You keep going right there, taking it side to side, finding those 90 degree bends in each leg. Now you can either stay there or take it into your switch jump. So right there, pick what works for you and we're moving right along. Make sure you're landing light. Your knees are soft wherever you're at. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, pause with your right leg forward, please. Hands down to frame your right foot. Reach your right arm up for your twist. And then hand down, grab for the weight, open up into your side plank. Good, we're going right to the oblique crunches. So start with your hand facing your foot and then you change the rotation as you squeeze in and send it out. So palm face in, palm face out. Feel free to drop your bottom knee at any time. Here's your four. Oh man, three, two, hold it in, pulse for eight. Tiny squeezes here. Go four, three, two, and one. Good, drop your bottom knee down. From here, you're kneeling. It's one bicep curl. You're on both knees and then you send your left hand down, weight to your right leg, kick it out. So alternate between those two. Bicep curl, kick. Can you find a lot of control, especially as you kick the leg out? Hug your elbows in on your curl. We have eight. Squeeze, use your obliques here. Core helping you to stay lifted. We have three, two, and one. Good, keep the right leg long, pivot to face forward once again. This time, one weight is going behind your right knee. Tabletop position. Roll your shoulders back, keep your elbows soft. Lift your right knee up, tap it down, curtsy, lift it back up down to the mat. So we lift, curtsy, lift, tap down. If you have sensitive knees, you can always double fold your mat up or maybe use a towel. Chin away from chest. Keep pushing 
into the mat with your hands. Here's four, feel the control. All about the booty and the hamstring here. Last three. Here's two. Final one. We hold it high, pulse it up. Just up an inch. Up an inch like you're stamping your right foot to the sky. Give me eight. In seven, drop down to your left forearm. Here's four, three, two, and one. Left forearm down. Bring your right knee in towards your left and then open up for a fire hydrant. Down and open. Inhale, exhale, squeeze up. So really feel that tiny extra squeeze at the top of every movement. That's how you're gonna get the most out of this workout. We have six. And here's your five. Four. We pulse in three. Two, hold it high, little pulses up. Just think up an inch, up an inch. Exhale on the lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly set the knee back down, remove the weight, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Step it through, low lunge. Keep your knee bent, bring your weights to your chest. Inhale, press up, crescent. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Good, bring your palms to face up in your warrior two. Just give me a mini bicep curl with both arms. Here's eight and four right there. Go three, two, and one. Turn your toes forward. We're shifting our weight into our left heel for a lateral lunge. Stepping up, shoulder press. Hips back, we curl and press it up. You've got a more challenging option. If you wanna drive the knee, that's where you're going. It's a lot to balance. So see what works for you. We have eight more. Squeeze. As you find your lateral lunge, hips are back. Navel hugs in like you have a logo on your shirt, the top of your shirt, and you wanna shine it forward. Last two. Final one. Okay, from here, step your feet wide. We fold forward. Good. Slowly roll up, bring your palms to touch, shift it side to side with the hips. Side to side, hips back, belly in. Add the arms just for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll all the way up. Find your warrior two once again. Flip your palm, reverse. You step back. Meet me in a downward facing dog. Lift your heels, bend your knees, chair pose. Arms reach up, hips back, belly in. Bring your palms to touch, stand all the way up. Begin to once again, find your reverse lunges. Make sure your knee is in the direction of your toes. You're sending your hips back. And once you're ready for it, I'm not even saying if, I'm saying once, because I know you're ready. We're taking it into those switch jumps. We have eight, seven, land light, six. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. <laughs> Here's four, three, two, and one. Good, bring your left leg forward. Reach your arms down to frame your foot. Right hand down, left arm up, twist. Take it right into your side plank. Remember your options. You can pick up that weight or use no weight. And we're going right into our oblique crunches. So palm faces the foot and then you rotate. Hug it in. Elbow and knee don't actually have to connect. 
Just feel that squeeze. We have four more. Three, two, last one, pulse for eight. Teeny presses. And here's four, three, two, and one. Good, drop your knees down. Grab for your other weight. We have one bicep curl, right hand down, and we kick. So you can bring that left weight to your left thigh, left hip as you kick. If you need more cushion, more support for your knees, you know where to go. You can fold up your mat. You can grab a towel. All about that squeeze. Hug the elbows in, chin away from chest. Last four. Here's three. And two. Final one. You set your left foot down, you pivot forward. This time the weight is going behind the left knee, setting up for our glute work. Tabletop position, you lift the left knee, tap it behind the right, curtsy, lift it back up and down. So we're just alternating between those two movements. Notice your form. There's not a big arch in the spine. The back is not moving a lot. So engage the belly, hug it in and up as you find the movement here. Lift curtsy, lift tap. Give me three more and then we pulse it up. Last two, all about that control. Engage your hamstring. Final one. And then we meet at the top and we pulse. Just up an inch, up an inch. Make sure your chin is away from your chest. You're looking in front of your hands. Eight more, go eight, seven, six. Here's five. We drop down to our right forearm in two, in one. Bring your left knee next to your right. Open up for your fire hydrant. Tap, lift, squeeze. Same thing here. Can you find a small pause at the top of the movement? That little extra squeeze so we get the most out of this work. We pulse in three, two, hold it high, pulse it up right there. Just up an inch, up squeeze. If you feel this in your waistline, that's good. You should. Eight more just like that. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set it down, remove the weight, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step it through. Grab for your weights. Bring them all the way up. Crescent. Back to your heart, open up. Warrior two. Flip your palms to face up. Find your mini bicep curl. Small curls in here for eight. Relax your shoulders. Keep your elbows bent the whole time. Four, three, two, turn your toes forward. Bend your right knee, shift your hips back right for your lateral lunge. Step, curl, shoulder press. Now, just like before, you have the option to pick it up for the balance, driving your knee up. If that's too much, nothing wrong with just tapping it next to the left like I'm doing. <laughs> it is a hot day today in beautiful Southern California. I hope you guys like the spot that we chose to work out because I am personally loving it. <laughs> Here's four and three. Last two. Final one. Good. Let's bring your legs forward, bring the weights to touch, and slowly release all the way down to the mat. Rock it out side to side a little bit here. Bend your knees, roll all the way up, and just find some high knees. Begin to run it out. Now you can just march it as well. So that is absolutely fine. Maybe you bring your arms forward 
and try and tap your hands with your legs. We have eight, seven, six. In five, we open up warrior two, three, two, and one. Let's find that warrior two again. Reverse your warrior. Open up through the left side. Bring it back down to a plank. Hold your plank. Moving right along, we drop down to forearms. Press up to plank. Alternate the side that leads. So I'm bringing forearm, forearm, palm, palm, and then switching. Taking it side to side here. We have eight. And then we move right along. Here's your four. Can you keep the hips pretty steady? Use your belly here, that's what this is all about. Last two. Final one. From your plank, drop your knees. Get up, get down with a, a jump squat. So, right foot, left foot, jump, bring it back down. Switch sides and jump. Bring it back down. You guys keep going there and know that you can always take the jump out of it. So side to side. Try and make no noise as you jump, like I'm trying to do. <laughs> keep your hips low, belly engaged. We have four more right there. Here's three. Last two. Final one. Pause right here. Pulse your hips low. Tiny pulse. Down, down. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one bring your palms down step your legs back lower all the way down onto your stomach now if that doesn't feel comfortable to you for any reason i've got a modification for you tabletop alternating arms and legs so feel free to go there this is a quick back section before we move on to the rest of our core so lay on down you gold post your arms and lift everything up and down. Now, if it's too much, you can just focus on the upper part of the body lifting. But we gotta strengthen the back, because I don't even have to ask, even though I can't hear your answer. <laughs> if anyone out there looks down at a cell phone, looks at a computer at a desk all day, or maybe sits in a car, so it's so important to reverse that. Work the posture and strengthen the back. We have four, three, two, on one. Just rest one cheek down to the mat. Don't get too comfortable, okay? We're almost there. Press back up into a high plank and back into a downward facing dog. Now lift your heels high, bend your knees, step and just take a seat okay we're almost there guys legs forward hug your belly in and up bring your arms forward you roll down reach your arms back and then roll up reach your arms up so two counts takes you down for two bring it up for two it's really smooth now, if this is too much, you can bring your hands behind your thighs and use your arms a little bit to help you get down and up. We have eight, seven, six, and five. Here's four, three, two, meet me down on one. So here's where we're going. Keep the feet flat. It's one curl up, 
then you reach your legs, reach your arms. So one and one, we curl knees bent, we reach legs long. If you need that neck support the whole time, feel free to keep your hands behind your head. That is a-okay and just gonna help you. And reach. We have eight. Really firing up the belly. So we're working full body and we are almost there. Here's four. And lift. Go three. Last two. Final one, keep your legs high. Bring your hands behind your head. Lower your left leg and then reach it back up. Same thing with the right and lift it back up. Take it side to side. We lower, lift, and then switch. Now if at any time you need to drop your head back down to the mat, go ahead. We have eight. Seven, feel free to bend the knees, especially if you feel this in your hips or your low back. Give me four, three, two, on one, legs up, little curl up and up. Exhale, lift, give me eight. We're actually standing back up right after this in four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees to chest, let the knees fall to the left, Gaze right, quick spinal twist. Take it over to the other side. Knees right, gaze left. Bring it back through center. Rock it up and down along the length of the spine until you've got enough momentum to stand all the way up. Just like we started, let's find some dynamic movement. Begin to rock it out side to side. Pick up your invisible jump rope and begin to jump it out here. Show me your best invisible jump rope moves, guys. You like mine? It's pretty simple. Eight counts. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You squat, open the legs, bring it together, and switch arms. So tapping down, taking it into those jumps. You can always tap it out side to side right there keep it up finish strong here's eight and seven and six here's five four three two and one meet me at the top the back of your mat please reach your arms all the way up palms touch slowly fold inhale halfway lift Exhale, drop your knees down. Good, bring your legs forward. Sit cross-legged. Take your right hand down, reach your left arm up and overhead. Bend your right elbow, gaze up. And switch sides. Right arm up and over, big side body stretch. Good. Send your legs out to the side into a V. Similar thing here, right elbow inside the right thigh, left arm up and over. Open up the chest. Bring both arms up, square your body over your right leg and fold. Lift up, switch sides. Right arm up and over. Reach up and fold. Beautiful. One last thing here, stretching out hips after all that glute work we did. You're laying back down, interlacing your hands behind your left leg, crossing your right ankle over your left thigh for a figure four stretch. And we'll do it on each side before we move right along. So take a couple breaths there, then grip right into that other side, flexing both feet you can always bring your elbow to your opposite thigh and press it out a little bit to deepen the stretch. Hug your knees into your chest and bring it all the way up. Sit tall, bring your palms to touch at your heart. Close your eyes and take a moment. Just be thankful for your body, 
for your breath, your ability to be here and to move. I am so grateful for you practicing here with me today. Way to go. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.